Hello, welcome to all to my Agent Learning channel. Today, I am going to discuss an important point and about topics of photosynthesis pyroplants. This is the final revision for the topic of photosynthesis. Let's start. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a biochemical process. It's anabolic and endergonic. Here is a formation of a compound carbohydrate. In photosynthesis, water and carbon dioxide is utilized and in the presence of light and pigment, carbohydrate formation takes place. So the process is anabolic as there is the formation of larger molecule, carbohydrate. And the formula for carbohydrate is C6H12O6. This photosynthesis takes place in chlorophyll and this occurs in the presence of light. This light is provided by sunlight. 90% of total photosynthesis is carried out by aquatic plants. First, two and oxygenic photosynthesis started in cyanobacteria. This cyanobacteria is a blue in algae. Photosynthesis is absent in cascuta. It is a parasitic and fungi a chlorophyllous. They don't have chlorophylls. They are dependent on other for their food. Euglena is photosynthetic organism and it is a link between animals and plants. Euglena is photosynthetic in presence of sunlight and in absence of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs depending on other small organisms. Root of Tynospora and Trappa are assimilatory or photosynthetic. In early experiments, Joseph Presley, he concluded foul air produced by animals is converted into pure air by plants. He also discovered oxygen gas. He concluded that plants have capacity to purify foul air. Julius Van in 1854 showed that the green plant produces glucose and it is stored as starch. It is the first visible product of photosynthesis. T.W. Engelmann discovered that different wavelength of light on photosynthesis, effect of different wavelength on lights of photosynthesis. Cornelius Van Neel, he showed that photosynthesis is a light dependent reaction. He gave the result that oxygen evolved by green plants. Serum form comes from water but not from carbon dioxide. And now we will see that photosynthesis, where this photosynthesis process takes place. This photosynthesis takes place in chloroplasts. In higher plant photosynthesis, particularly in specialized cells called mesophiles, which are present in the cells of leaves, they contain chloroplasts. And this is the actual site of photosynthesis. It fixes carbon dioxide into carbohydrate. These chloroplasts are double membrane organelle. The space into the inner membrane of chloroplast is called stroma. A number of organized flattened membranous sac are present in stroma. Thylakoids are arranged in stack like piles of coins called grana. The thylakoids and chloroplasts contain most of the machinery for the photochemical reactions of photosynthesis and these contain the pigments which capture the solar energy. Now there are two types of reaction, light reaction and the dark reaction. The reaction in which the light energy is absorbed by grana to synthesize ATP and NADPH is called light reaction. The later part of photosynthesis in which the carbon dioxide is reduced to sugar in which light is not necessary is called dark reaction. Photosynthetic pigments. The plant pigments are found in chloroplasts on thylakoids. So there are different types of pigments chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene, xanthophyll and others. Chlorophyll A this is light to medium green. The color of these pigments are obtained on paper chromatography. Chlorophyll A is the main photosynthetic pigment. Maximum absorption of chlorophyll A occurs in blue and the red region and have higher rate of photosynthesis. Chlorophyll A is the chief pigment. Chlorophyll B is blue green color and carotene is yellow orange and xanthophyll yellow. These all the three are accessory pigments. Structure of chlorophyll is that these are tetrapyloric magnesium porphyrin compound. Magnesium atom is present in the center. Chlorophyll molecule has magnesium porphyrin head and it has an alcoholic phytol tail. The head part is hydrophilic and phytol tail is hydrophobic. Chlorophyll A and carotenes are universal pigments which are found in all oxygen liberating cells. These chlorophylls are soluble in, these chlorophylls are soluble in ketones and other organic solvents. Stroma lamellae, stroma thylakoids lack PS2 and enzyme NADP reductase. Now by paper chromatography, these pigments produce different colors. Chlorophyll A is blue green, chlorophyll B is yellow green, xanthophyll is yellow and keratinides are yellow to yellow orange. These keratinides absorb light energy and transfer it to chlorophyll A and thus act as accessory pigments. These are classified into two groups, keratines and xanthophylls. These keratines are 
orange red in color isolated from parrot they are found in all group of plants from algae to angiosperms lycopene is another pigment it is a red pigment and it is found in the ripe tomatoes and red pepper fruits beta carotene on hydrolysis gives vitamin a and it is called as pro vitamin a beta carotene is black yellow pigment of carrot roots xanthophylls these are yellow colored carotenoids and are called xanthols of carotenols lutein is another pigment it is widely distributed xanthophyll and it is responsible for yellow color in autumn foliage next is fucoxanthin This is present in Pheophyceae that is brown algae. Phycobalans these pigments are found in the blue green algae that is cyanobacteria and red algae. The blue green algae have high quantity of phycocyanin and red algae have more of phycoerythrin and both these phycocyanin and phycoerythrin are known as phycobalans. Like carotenoids phycobalans are also accessory pigments. They absorb light and transfer it to chlorophyll A. So now let's start with the mechanism of photosynthesis. This photosynthesis takes place in two phases. One is light dependent, another is dark. Phase. One is light phase, and another is the dark phase. Light phase is also known as photochemical reaction. It is light dependent reaction. Its name also is given as Hill's reaction. In this light phase, energy is trapped from the sunlight, and it is absorbed and converted into chemical energy, which is stored in the form of ATP and NADPH plus hydrogen. Other is the dark phase, or it is known as light independent, or Blackman reaction, or biosynthetic phase. These are the names of the dark phase reaction. During this stage, during this stage, the carbohydrates are synthesized from carbon dioxide using energy stored in ATP and NADPH formed in light. dependent reaction so here carbohydrates are synthesized from carbon dioxide atp and nadph formed in the light dependent reaction are used in dark reaction this is also known as kelvin benson reaction cycle or other name is given is c3 cycle or we you can say reductive pentose phosphate cycle so this dark reaction was discovered by three scientists namely kelvin benson and reaction the plants that are kelvin cycle are known as c3 plants there are three phases of dark phase this carbon fixation carbon dioxide taken in by the plants combined with five carbon compound this five carbon compound is known as ribulose 15 5 phosphate form two molecules of three phosphoglycerate that is 3 pga uh, and this step is catalyzed by the enzyme this enzyme is important which is ribulose biphosphate carboxylase or you can say as rubisco next step is carbon reduction in this phase three phosphoglycerate which uses six atp molecule to form an isomer of three phosphoglycerate and it is called as 1p phosphoglycerate in the next step six nadph forms glycerate three phosphate third step is rubp regeneration this step responsibility is to regenerate rubp which is what reaction began with at the same time it also synthesizes glucose which is stored as food the side three phosphate uses three atp molecules and it converts ribulose 1 5 this phosphate uh, which enters into a new cycle of dark reaction by combining with incoming carbon dioxide how here we see the light reaction and dark reaction this light reaction it is a photochemical phase and it occurs in the presence of light and it usually occurs in the gain of chloroplast here nadp utilizes hydrogen ion form nadph and the end product is atp and nadph this light reaction involves two photosystem photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 and this photolysis occurs in photosystem 2 that is breakdown of water in dark reaction it's a biochemical phase that occurs in presence or absence of sunlight this takes place in the stoma of the protein the hydrogen of the nadph combined with carbon dioxide here the end product is glucose atp and nadph helps in the formation of glucose here no photosystem is required now we will see the dark phase of photosynthesis first is the c3 pathway or kelvin cycle kelvin and benson discovered the path of carbon in this process and the first stable compound of kelvin cycle is free carbon phosphoglycic acid and thus kelvin cycle is called as c3 cycle the first stable compound produced in c3 cycle is phosphoglycic acid and the here rubisco that is ribulose bis phosphate carboxylase oxygenase is the main enzyme in c3 cycle this rubisco is most abundant enzyme on earth. carbon dioxide acceptor in c3 cycle is ribulose 15 diphosphate this carboxylation reaction is catalyzed by rubisco in c3 pathway photosynthesis takes place in the mesophyll cells in c4 cycle which 
takes place in mesophyll and adult sheath cell. First step takes place in the mesophyll cells where phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase enzyme it catalyzes the formation of oxaloacetate from phosphoenol pyruvate and carbon dioxide. First stable product in this reaction is oxaloacetate. It's a four carbon compound. This, oxalo this oxaloacetate reduced to malic acid in the presence of malate dehydrogenase enzyme. This malic acid is transferred to bundle sheet through plasmodus matter and in bundle sheet malic acid is decarboxylated in presence of malic enzyme and releases carbon dioxide. By decarboxylation of malic acid, P carbon compound pyruvate is formed. Carbon dioxide enters into the Calvin cycle and pyruvate returns back to mesophyll cell. In C4 cycle, in mesophyll cell, the pyruvate in the presence of pyruvate phosphate diakinase enzyme converted into phosphoenol pyruvate and cycle repeats. Photosynthetically, C4 plants are more efficient as there is no barber effect or photorespiration in C4 plants because at the site of rubisco, less oxygen is present. In C4 plants, these are found in the tropical habitats and adapted themselves in high temperature and the availability of water is low and intense light. So these are more developed and adapted than C3 plants. C4 cycle occurs in monopod which belongs to Graminae and Cypraceae and it includes sugarcane, maize, sorghum, oat, chlorius, sedges, bajra, panicum. There are dicots with C4 cycle also which are, which are Euphorbia species, Amaranthus, Chinopodium, Guairavia, Atriplexophia, Motoleca and Triplos. The concentration of carbon dioxide around the site of Rubisco is higher in C4 plants. Thus, there is little or no chance of photosynthesis. In C4 plants, carbon dioxide filtration takes place twice one in the mesophyll cell and the second one in the bundle chain. The first carbon dioxide acceptor, that is the primary acceptor or, at, or atmospheric carbon dioxide acceptor in C4 plant is phosphorinol pyruvate. This is the first carbon dioxide acceptor. The secondary acceptors of carbon dioxide in C4 plants is RUV. Carbon dioxide fixation is faster in C4 plants and these C4 plants are more efficient in photosynthesis. Next is GAM pathway that is crystallization acid metabolism. This dark carbon dioxide fixation pathway was proposed by Thing in 1971. This GAM pathway operates in the succulent and fleshy plants. Examples like Calonche, Crassula, Sedum, Punchia, Aloe, Agave, Euphorbia species, Riopilum, Pineapple, etc. Here, primary acceptor of carbon dioxide is phosphoenol pyruvate. In daytime, first product of carboxylation is C phosphoglycerate, and at night time, oxaloacetate. This is the first product of carboxylation. In camp plants, tomato are photoactive, that is active during night. So, initial carbon dioxide fixation is found in night, but light reaction operates in the daytime. Final carbon dioxide fixation occurs in daytime. In CAM pathway, phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase and rubisco are present in mesophyll cell and it shows no cleanliness. Here in CAM plants, 39 ATP and 12 NADPH are required for synthesis of one glucose molecule. Formation of malic acid during dark phase is called acidification or phase 1. The release of carbon dioxide for actual photosynthesis during the day is called as deacidification and it and it is a phase 2. Malic acid is stored in the vacuoles during the night which is decarboxylated to release carbon dioxide during the day. Now let's start with the photosystem. There are two types of photosystem that absorbs light energy. Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. The key pigments of both photosystem is globally. So this photosystem 1 is located at the outer surface of the granular thalakoid membrane that is non-oppressed granular region and stroma lamellae. This photosystem 1, the photocenter of reaction center is P700. PS, this PS1 has an iron sulfur type reaction center or type 1. In photosystem 2, which is located in the inner surface of the granular thylakoid membrane, and the photocenter is the P680. The PS2 has a quinone type reaction center or known as Q type or type. This photosystem 1 can absorb light from wavelength greater than 680 nanometer and it is rich in chlorophyll A. This PS1 generates strong reducing agent. Using NAD2 NADPH and a weak oxidant. And the main function is ATP synthesis in cyclic photophosphorylation and NADPH synthesis in non cyclic photosynthesis. Whereas in photosystem 2, pigment absorbs shorter wavelengths of light that is less than 680 nanometer and it is rich in chlorophyll B. This PS2 is a strong oxidant and a weak reductant and main function of ATP synthesis and hydrolysis of water in non cyclic photophosphorylation.
now we will study cyclic phosphorylation and it is the process of photophosphorylation in which the electron expelled by the excited photocenter is returned back to it after passing through a series of electron carriers here the electron that is expelled by the excited photocenter is returned back in this process water is not consumed only atp is found when electron pass peridoxin to plastophenol and from plastophenol to cytochrome Cyclic ETS or PS1 is activated by wavelength of light greater than 6 nanometer and it involves process photosystem 1. First electron acceptor is ferrodoxin reducing substance which is iron sulfur containing protein. In cyclic ETS no oxygen evolution occurs because photolysis of water is absent. No water breakdown is seen in cyclic phosphorylation. Cyclic phosphorylation takes place two places. Thus two ATPs are generated in each cyclic ETS. NADPH Reducing power is not formed in cyclic process. Plastocyanin is copper containing blue protein in cyclic media. This process is predominantly seen in bacteria or prokaryotes. Another is non cyclic phosphorylation. It is the normal process of photophosphorylation in which electrons are expelled by the excited photocenter and does not return. Here, non cyclic photophosphorylation, electrons are not returned back. Electrons are released by the photosynthesis of water. Here, both photosystem 1 and 2 are involved. Both NADPH and ATP molecules are produced. Photolysis of water is present. Oxygen is evolved as byproduct. And these are predominant in green plants. In non cyclic phosphorylation, each ton of non cyclic ATS produces 1 ATP and 2 NADPH. Four molecules of water are photolyzed and one molecule of oxygen is released. Primary electron acceptor in non cyclic reaction is plastoquinone. Recently, PO fighting structure like PLA without magnesium is considered as the first electron acceptor in Z scheme. Plastocyanin, that is copper containing pigment, is the link between photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 in non cyclic ATS. Final electron acceptor in Z scheme is NADP positive and it is the Hills reagent. During non-cyclic EPS energy flow takes place from PS2 to PS1. Next is bacterial photosynthesis. Certain bacteria are capable of photosynthesis. Example, chlorobium that is green sulfur, chromatium, purple sulfur, rhodospirulum, rhodosudomonas, purple non-sulfur. Cyclic photophosphorylation is an important method in bacterial photosynthesis that is prokaryotes. Cyclic photophosphorylation is important because PS2 is absent here. Therefore, Z scheme is absent in the bacteria. Absorption of infrared spectrum takes place during bacterial photosynthesis. Thus, no red drop occurs in bacterial photosynthesis. Pigment system of bacteria is noted by P890 or 870. Only one ATP is produced in each turn of cyclic photophosphorylation in bacteria. Now, factors which affect the photosynthesis are maximum photosynthesis takes place in the red light than blue light. This rate of photosynthesis Photosynthesis is highest in the white light and minimum in the green light. Photosynthesis and respiration ratio at midday is 10 is to 1 and it reaches 20 is to 1. At evening and morning, the rate of photosynthesis is equal to respiration. This situation is called as a light compensation point. Plants which are adapted to grow in high intensity of light are called as heliophytes and plants that are adapted to grow in shades are the skeophytes. Optimum temperature for photosynthesis is 20 to 35 degrees. And increase in carbon dioxide concentration up to 1% causes the rate of photosynthesis to increase. Warper effect. This is inhibitory effect of high concentration of oxygen on photosynthesis. It is called as Warper effect. It is due to photorespiration. They are inhibitors of photosynthesis like DCMU, that is diuron, dichlorophenyl, dimethyluria, or CMU, that is monouron, pan, atrazine, bromocyl. These inhibit the Photosynthesis by blocking the PS2. They stop the electron flow between P680 and plastophenol. In cyclic ATS, diacoat, paracoat, they inhibit the electron flow between P700 and FT. All these chemicals are used as herbicides, which mostly block electron transport system. Magnesium and nitrogen are essential for the structure of chlorophyll and the enzyme. Rubisco alone accounts for more than half of the total beef nitrogen. The rate of photosynthesis decreases when sugar accumulates in the mesophyll cells. In young and the mature leaf, photosynthesis is more in old than senescent leaves. Law of limiting factors. 
that is Blackman. When a process is conditioned to its rapidity by a number of factors, the rate of the process is limited by the base of lowest factor that is carbon dioxide, light, chlorophyll, water and temperature. That's all for today. These are the revision points for topic photosynthesis higher plant. You like and subscribe to our Edwin learning channel for more updates. Thank mm -hmm. you.